Welcome back to the second CoreFlow Designer video tutorial. In this video, we will expand on our existing project that we created in the first video. We will modify the sales option to reflect office hours, and when the sales team is out of office hours, we will ask the caller to record a message, which will be sent to the sales team as an attachment. In the initial project, we had the audio prompts pre-recorded, and we uploaded them to the project to be used within the call flow. We are going to take this one step further now and implement text to speech for the prompts. So we will no longer need to pre-record the prompts. We can just type the prompts we need and by using Amazon's poly service, we can convert our text prompts to speech. On screen, we can see the project that we created in the first video. In the main project, we can see the attributes of the project on the right hand side. Three of these are for the Amazon text-to-speech service. We have a guide on our website which will explain the procedure to go and create an account with Amazon and how to obtain the relevant keys needed to link the CoreFlow project to the Amazon account. I will just go and enter my credentials in right now. Now coming back to our project, I will modify the second option which we originally created for the sales queue. In the call flow section, I will drag the date and time condition component to option number two, just above the transfer sales prompt. I will name this sales office hours. In the first time condition, I will set up the office hours, which will be valid for this call flow. I will however, rename this to in office hours. Double clicking the time condition will allow me to go and define the office hours. Edit the time conditions, click on add, select the days of the week and the hours this time condition will apply. You can add multiple schedules for different days if you wish, then click OK. Click on OK again to confirm the configuration. Now moving on to the second time condition, I will name this out of office hours. I will go and define the office hours for this as well. These are the out of office hours. So I'm putting them for the whole day of the two days for the weekend and the day which is today. Click on OK again. During the office hours, we want to have our original call flow. So I will drag and drop the original prompt and call transfer to the sales queue to the in office hours time condition. Now for the out of office hours routing, we will add a record and email component, which will inform the caller that the sales team is offline and guide the caller to leave a voicemail message. From the call control section, I will drag the record and email component to the out of office hours section. Double clicking on this new component will allow us to configure the prompt, SMTP server settings, and the email details. Let's go and create the prompt. Click edit prompts. We will click on add. We will select text-to-speech audio prompt. We select the voice that we want the prompt to be read out as from a variety of languages and voices available. In the text field, type your message within quotation marks. Our prompt will read, our sales team is currently offline. Please leave a message after the tone and then press any button. Click on OK to accept that. Define your maximum message duration in seconds. Select stop recording by pressing any DTMF. The 3CX SMTP server is pre-selected. All we need to do now is to define the recipient of the email message, the message subject, and the message body. All these details will need to be within quotation marks. Click on OK after the configuration of the email settings. I will also add a new prompt playback, informing the caller that their message has been received successfully. I will do that from the call control section, prompt playback. I will rename this message verification. Let's go and write the message that we are going to send. Edit the prompt, add text to speech, select the voice and type the message. And this is followed by the component to disconnect the call. So what remains now is to build the project and go and upload it to the PBX. Just like we did in the first video, let's go and add that call flow. 
and add that to our inbound rules. Now all that's left is to test it. Welcome to our company. Press 1 for technical support. Press 2 for sales. We will press 2. Our sales team is currently offline. Please leave a message after tone and then press any button. Hello, this is a test message. Thank you, 1, 2, 3. Your message has been received. Thank you. And the call gets disconnected. And logging into our email, we can see that a message has arrived with a recording attached. So that's it for our second call flow designer video. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you at the third one. See you there.